Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Maths. When you take a building, there are few important levels. Those are plinth level, lintel level, sill level and roof level. Many of us have confused about these levels. What is plinth level? Where do we provide plinth beam? Why do we provide plinth beam? And what is sill level? At what height we need to provide that sill beam? What is lintel level? What is roof level? So friends, please do watch this video till the end to get answer for all these questions. Before entering to the video, I wanted to thank all the subscribers and viewers for providing continuous support to this channel. Here I am going to inform you that super thanks button has been enabled in our channel. When you click on any video in our channel, you will be getting one thanks button like this. So if you click on that, you will be directed to this page. If you really wanted to support this channel, if you really like the content, if you like the video, the content is very useful to you, then you can pay some amount and then support this channel. By paying super thanks, you can buy a one-time animation on your videos and send a personalized, colorful and customizable comment in the video's comment section. First, let me explain you about what is plinth level. Foundation is the major important part in any building. It is also called as substructure. Plinth level is the level where the substructure ends and the superstructure starts. Let me explain you a bit clearly. Consider this is your ground level. Let me write here GL. So this is your ground level. If this is your ground level, then you are going to excavate some distance from your ground level for the foundation. Let's say it is 5 feet. So 5 feet is the height from your ground level to the bottom of the excavation. It is always best to practice to raise the building height to some distance from the ground level or the road level because if the building is in the same level of the existing ground level or the road level then what happens when the rain comes the water will come inside your building there are chances of water will surpass through the building so to avoid such kind of problems you have to raise the building from the existing ground level to some distance so here this is the plinth beam the plinth level is the level where your floor starts, ground floor starts. It is recommended to go with the height of 1 feet 6 inches for the plinth height. 1 feet 6 inches from the existing ground level. I hope now you understand about the plinth level. Let me tell you why do we need to provide this plinth beam. Plinth beam is provided to carry its own self weight and also to carry the load of the masonry wall. We construct masonry wall on the top of the plinth beam. So to carry the load of the masonry wall and to carry its own self weight, plinth beam is provided. So apart from this, plinth beam is helped to prevent the settlement of the masonry wall. Also, plinth beam is connecting all the columns. If you see here, it is connecting all the columns. Consider this excavation height as 5 feet and floor height as 10 feet. Then what happens if you take this column, the total height of the column is 15 feet. When the horizontal force like wind, wind force or earthquake force is acting on the structure, what happens? The column tends to break. So to avoid that problem, the plinth beam is provided. So here, the plinth beam is breaking the column height into 5 feet and 10 feet. So if you, if you consider the column height for the calculation, you have to consider only 10 feet height. So the plinth beam is acting as an interconnecting member of all the columns. So this is the purpose of plinth beam. Let's recap once again. Plinth level is the level where the substructure ends and the superstructure starts. Plinth beam is provided to carry the load of the masonry wall and also it is connecting all the columns. It helps to reduce the height of the column. Next one is sill level. It is the level at the bottom of the window. So at the bottom of the window, we need to provide one beam that is called a sill beam. The height of the sill level is 3 feet from the ground floor. From the floor level, it is 3 feet. Whenever we construct a masonry wall, we will be providing opening for windows. It is in a rectangle shape. We will be providing opening. So the edges of that opening will be very short. So if we place the window on that edge, Without providing any sill beam, what happens due to the pressure of that window and the edges will tend to break so that cracks will develop in that corner. To avoid that kind of cracks, we have to provide a sill beam below the window. That means here. 
If the size of the window is 3 feet, then the sill beam size should be little bit more like uh, 6 inches this side and 6 inches this side. So the total length of the sill beam will become 4 feet, 3 feet plus 6 inches plus 6 inches. So in that way we have to provide the sill beam to avoid the cracks at the edge of the window. See at the edge of the window if we don't provide the sill beam properly we will be having the crack like this diagonal cracks too. To avoid these cracks we need to provide the sill beam. So that sill beam has to be more than the size of this window at least this side 6 inches extra we have to provide and that side also 6 inches extra we have to provide. You can see the cracks like this. So to avoid these cracks it is mandatory to provide the sill beams at sill level. Next one is the lintel level. It is the level at the top of the door and window. So at the top of the door and window we need to provide the lintel beam as well like this. The height of the lintel is 7 feet from the ground floor level. From the floor level it is 7 feet height. So at that level we need to provide the lintel beam. This lintel beam also we can provide as a through lintel like window, door and here also see window. It is a kind of a tie beam. It act, it act as a tie beam. We can provide a through lintel as well as a cut lintel. So where we need to provide a through lintel means wherever we will be having the slab projection. Inside if you see some of the houses, some of the rooms will be having inside slab projection as a loft or something. In that case a under we have to provide the through lintel if it is not needed we can provide a cut lintel cut lintel means no need to provide till here so like this you can stop at sill level how you have provided only little bit extra projection the same way lintel level also you can provide little bit extra projection no need to provide the beam throughout the length so it is it has to be provided at the seven feet height why we need to provide this lintel beam is because above the lintel like above the door frame we are going to construct a masonry wall so the masonry wall load will come directly on the frame of the door that will not sufficient to take care of that load what happens if we don't provide the proper lintel beam then cracks will develop crack cracks will form so in order to avoid that we are going to provide a lintel beam to take care of that masonry wall load above the lintel level lintel beam is also necessary to take care of this shajja load shajja projection is provided from the lintel beam only here I have not shown the projection because I wanted to show you the dimensions clearly that is why I have not shown the sajja projection here also the sajja projection has to come you can see the lintel cracks lintel level cracks if we don't provide the lintel beam properly you will be getting cracks like this so to avoid these cracks we have to provide the lintel beam at lintel level there is a slab projection for loft purpose so if you want these kind of slabs and all you have to provide the through lintel or else you can provide the cut lintel next one is the roof beam this is the roof beam it is provided at the roof level usually the height of the roof from the floor is 10 feet it's around 10 feet so at roof level this roof beam is provided to carry the slab load what happens the slab load will transfer to the beam so this roof beam is provided to carry the slab load whatever the load is coming on the slab that will go to roof beam and the beam will transfer the load to column through column the load will come to the footing so this is how the load will transfer from roof to the foundation finally this is your plinth beam sill beam lintel beam and this is the roof beam so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome and if you find this content is very useful and if you want to support the channel please click on the super thanks button and thank you for watching.